Hey everyone, it's me Sam again, and today I've got a new box. I've got a Try the World box, and we're going to open it. And so, let's do this. Uh -huh. Quite a big box, and it's quite heavy too. It's the inside. And... It is Spain. And so, we're going to open, this is the um, culture one. And then, it kind of tells, it has recipes and music and like different things about Spain and everything. And it kind of goes through that. And then, this is the thing it tells you back in front on what is inside of it, of the box. So, let's get started. So the first thing I pull out, I see, is Olam Hispania Extra Virgin Olive Oil. So that actually will come in handy. And so it says, located in, located, wait a minute. It says, located in Codonia, a region that's historically recognized for producing high, low, high quality olive oil, and it harvests the uh, ripe olives are harvested and grown in high altitude orchards before grinding them at a cold temperature just hours after harvest. So, here's that. And it is 4.25 fluid ounces. And so it's actually pretty decent. It's all glass. And this actually will come in handy when cooking. The next thing that I'm going to pull out is, Ein's was sells its citrus crumble cake, and it's a tradition, it's a cor cordalio, and it's a traditional Spanish pastry flavored with cinnamon and lemon filled with a cider cream. Uh, these crumble cakes continue to make Continue to be made by hand to a recipe that was developed over a hundred years ago. So yeah, I am actually really excited to try this. And it looks like there's three units. And it weighs 3.24 ounces. And uh, I guess it's cut up inside. So, yay. Um... And then the next thing I pull out is El Narvarco. It's salsa maca con ajo. It's made with ripe tomatoes, olive oil, fresh garlic, and salt. This tomato sauce is delicious to spread over toast or served as a dip. And it, there's a, um, it says to see the recipe inside. And so it says, look at here and turn into a, uh, make a delicious tap of some kind of breakfast with a sauce. So it looks like it comes in glass, it's gluten-free, and it's allergy-free, and it's tomato spray. I, I don't know, this might look, taste good, like, in a sauce or something with, with pasta or whatnot, or some kind of salsa. And then the next thing I'm going to pull out is Orbitz Canned White Tuna, which is this. And it says, a family company more than five generations in the making, Orbitz, or, Orbitz is renowned for its quality of seafood products since 19, 1891. Local fishermen have been catching Spain's cherished Bonito El Norte or Atlantic white tuna using pole lines to ensure that only the most flavorful fish are harvested. And it looks like it's just like, like a can. The cat's gonna like the juice from this. <laughs> and it's one can. And just a can. That'd be good. Uh, this would be like good with like, I guess you could put it with like tuna helper or somehow make it into a tuna dish if you really like tuna. 
And then, let it open. Um, on my note, and it's since 1883, uh, El Amano ha has been producing a popular candy, holiday candy, which raw ingredients introduce traditional craftsmanship. This one was made with crushed almonds and it's slightly, it's crunchy and slightly sweet. A perfect pairing for coffee or tea. I'm a big coffee person, that'd be an awesome snack. And so... This is what it looks like, and I guess it's two servings in here, so it might be more. Sounds like it might be one more bar. We'll have to see. This look good. Um, so this look, this is kind of like a, I guess a thing that you'd fight you fight over and share with or something. And then this is. P. Lusto Flora Jam, which is this, and it looks like I got it looks like some kind of peach. Um, I actually got one of these in my French boxes, and so these I know the French one was really really good. I haven't finished it yet, but it's really good. It says these delicate preserves are made using artisanal. Uh, producing techniques with ingredients grown from the family farm in southwestern Spain. They are delicious with toast and served with cheese or tea. So, like, this is something you can, like, jam and toast. Or, like, cheese and jam and crackers or something like that. You can spread it on. That's where, with my French one, I put, bought, like, little croissants, and then I, like, spread it on. And it was really good. So, I, I can't wait to try this. And then... Oh, I got two of them. And then, this one looks kind of like it is a flower one. Oh, yeah, this one. I don't know what this one is. These are the two that I got. If you guys can tell me what they are, that'd be awesome. And then... This one is um paprika, which I think it's actually like the actual. Smoked hot paprika, so it's basically, it's a primary ingredient in many of Spain's best known dishes, including vegetable or seafood, um, and it says see your culture guide for pasta bravas, um, Elvron makes this one packaged in collectible vintage tins with bright peppers to maintain the spices, bright color, and flavor. So this is what the tin looks like on the front. And on the back, I think they're the yeah they're the same. So, but it's really cool. I like how it's decorated. And it's got paprika. I'm not a spicy fan, but it looks a lot of fun. And um, like I, don't, I might take it over to friends and like cook with it or something. And then I think that is all for today. So that is my unboxing. And so, if you guys like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. See you guys later. Bye.